One of the weapons that really impressed back in 2018 was the Synapse, and not only because it packed one hell of a punch, but also because it looked mean, nasty, powerful. But did it stand the test of time, or not? It's easy to lose track of former powerhouse weapons when you got all sorts of brand new weapons being released on a weekly or monthly basis. So today we're gonna retake a look at this old powerhouse. Hey guys, welcome back, as always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be diving deeper into the Synapse. I'm gonna have a couple of builds line up, something cheap, something affordable, something that most players will be able to build, but of course we also have the quote-unquote endgame set up with two fantastic ribbons. That said though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides usually take a new player-friendly approach. I like to take my time and explain a lot of the aspects that veteran players should already be accustomed to. So in case you're a vet and you already know most of this stuff, please... Bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Synapse. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped. And for that, just a couple of free shots. The Synapse used to be one of the best single target damage weapons in Warframe, and I'm happy to report that even though over the past couple of years we got plenty of brand weapons added to the game, the Synapse still packs one hell of a punch, as I will demonstrate, my friends. But before I get ahead of myself, this one is a true blue beam weapon with a range of 28 meters by default without Sinister Re. So take a look at this one. This should be 26, 27, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. 28 meters till the target and I can still comfortably damage down. Not only that, not only that you do not need Sinister Reach on this one, you can put on some punch through and you can hit multiple targets and of course it's pinpoint accurate as mostly any other beam weapon. Even though that the beam may seem to jiggle a little bit, it's just a visual effect, it is pinpoint accurate for the most part. Also being a weapon means you're going to be getting two damage ticks per ammo, so bear that one in mind. Two sources of potentially applying a status effect. Now let's hop into actions and plug in that Auto King Catalyst my friends. Mod capacity 30 out of 30, installing the Auto King Catalyst will be doubling your mod capacity. You can grind this one from Nightwave, you can pay 20 plat to have one installed and you can also get a blueprint from the daily sortie. But bear in mind after you get the blueprint you gotta make it, so there's that. How many Forma should I plug into my Synapse and what symbols to use? Well, first of all, free Forma normally should do it. If you got a Riven, maybe go to four and plug in the symbols that are the most drained. For example, if I wanted to use Prime Cryo Rounds, then I'm definitely gonna need a Vazar in Polarity, so I'm gonna do something like so. Again, three or four V symbols normally should do it. Accuracy, 100, so yes, you can go for Heavy Calibre. This one is actually highly recommended. It doesn't really matter for beam weapons when it comes to accuracy and multi-shot and stuff. You see, it just jiggles again, but it, man it maintains it within the crosshair. So from my point of view, it's definitely worth it. Unless you want to snipe with Sinister Reach. In that case, maybe not use Heavy Caliber. Critical chance by default, a massive 39% with a critical multiplier of 2.7x. Absolutely glorious critical stats on this beautiful, beautiful weapon. Subjectively beautiful, because technically it's kind of ugly. Fire rate of 12 with a magazine of 70, so you can go for a little bit of fire rate, especially when you have a hefty magazine and a super quick reload of only 1.5 seconds. Multi shot of one, noise alarming. Riven Dispo, 5 out of 5, my friends. That is right, this is not a popular weapon. And I believe back in 2018, it also had like something like 3 or 4 out of 5. I don't remember exactly. That's because, again, we got a whole lot of weapons being released and everybody wants to try the brand new stuff, right? And the Synapse, powerful as it definitely is, it's still only single target damage, so the Riven Disposition has been staying pretty high. Status chance, 13%. I'll be honest, it's a tad on the low side, but it's not really gonna matter. When it comes to the damage by default on the weapon, you got Corrosive, my friends. Corrosive, the former meta. So we can combine this one and we can get Corrosive and Viral on the same weapon which is absolutely huge and spells doom for basically almost any Grenier. When it comes to the weapon uh, Plexalus or Exilus mod slot, honestly, it's not really worth unlocking this one. It's 20 plat or you can farm the resources, get a blueprint from one of your syndicates and all whatnot. But what are you going to put here? I don't know, maybe you want more zoom. Yeah, if you want more zoom, by all intents and purposes, go for it. Vigilante supplies, get your ammo back and all whatnot. Yes, but there are plenty of other ways to get your ammo back. You don't really need this one to be here. From my, again, subjective point of view. I would not unlock this one. For, uh, the way I see things, it's simply a waste of resources. Speaking about wasting of resources, let's hop on into a standard build. And we got damage acceleration, multi-shot with split chamber, critical chance, critical damage comp between point strike, vital sense, eh, it's here as well. Of course, it has 
to be here. And the 60-60 Vital Mods, Rhyme Rounds and Malignant Force. You can get Rhyme Rounds from doing spy missions and Malignant Force from Corrupted Vore in the Void. If not from the trade chat, you're looking at Templar piece or something like that. At least on the PC trade chat, make sure to check um, Warframe Market for more appropriate prices. Heavy Caliber is here as well. Now this one is your option slot. Plug into this one whatever you feel comfortable with. For example, you might want Fire Rate. Why not? Shred, Prime Shred, you got Prime Shred, go for Prime Shred, your beam is gonna be going for multiple targets, right? You're gonna be able to get some AoE damage like Sue, or you can go for more pure fire rate with something like Vile Acceleration if you so desire. From my point of view, I would encourage you to give Heavy Caliber a go. Or perhaps you're the kind of person that likes orange and red numbers, more orange than red in this case. So you can go with Argon Scope and your critical chance is gonna be going something like 170-180%. 160-ish percent, something like that. So you can go with Argon Scope. Again, a more rudimentary solution and one that will give you fantastic results, Heavy Cal in this case. So you got Vital on the weapon, proc priority number one, and you also got Corrosive, proc priority number two, and the slashes, of course, are gonna be coming from Hunter Munitions. So basically, you got Vital, Corroso, Mumu. That is the trifecta of Onage, right there. Vital, Corroso, Mumu, the trifecta of Onage. Allow me to show you. Oh, wait, let me make sure I don't cheat with anything. I thought it was. Yes, it is an empty build, so we should be good to test. On level 120, corrupted heavy goons, my friends. That's pretty huge, the ever so lovely benchmark. Now, normally, when you shoot a target with a slash build, you gotta wait till 50% and watch the slashes. The I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Not one bit, my friends. Not a single bit. Till 50%. Here you go. Take a look at the slashes. Beautiful, 5,500, but it can get to 9,000, it can go over 9,000, depending on how many vital procs you're gonna be able to get on your target. Take a look at that. And of course, you're not gonna stop firing in a mission, are you? You're just gonna kill the damn target, that's the point of a weapon, which is why I don't like slash builds. But getting back on point, this is one hell of a single target damage weapon. Highly, highly recommend, my friends. Now, of course, I know some of you want to see with more crit, right? I don't know what it is about crit. I actually, I do know what it is about crit. First, it's called crit, right? Critical chance. And second of all, it makes pretty numbers on the screen. So yes, mama, please, more pretty numbers. So Argon Scope we go instead of the other one. You gotta keep Vital on. You gotta keep Vital on. It's just simply how it is. And Hunter Mumu as well. More crit. Beautiful, beautiful. And as before, you can just keep your trigger finger pressed down and you're gonna be basically murdering everything in sight in just a matter of seconds, my friends. The Synapse used to melt targets in 2020 and as you can see, it still melts targets in uh, 2018 and now in 2020. Beautiful weapon, fantastic, a whole lot of power and a high Riven disposition, my friends. And you know what, currently Rivens for this one, aren't super expensive. Of course, if, you're one, if you want something like a God roll or a Super Saiyan roll or the perfect roll, yeah, you're gonna be paying for your nose, but what I would recommend you buy an unrolled one and try your luck in Kuva. Hey, who knows, maybe you're gonna get a first try. <laughs> like that's it. Anyway, it could happen. It could happen. Fire rate, let's go fire rate. Uh, let's go with the Prime Shred. I know I never highlight this one because I try to avoid Prime Mods in my guide simply because I know not everybody has Prime Mod. And you know what? Prime Shred is not even one that you can get from Battle. It's from Logins, which is stupid, but more on that some other time. And I can shoot two at once. With Punch Through and Fire Rate. And if you're discouraged by this, dude, I don't have Prime Shred. The rest assured it works with Shred as well. Let me show you really quick, really quick. Come on. Think about the little guy who doesn't have Prime Shred. Think about the little guy, the poor little guy. He's gonna quit Warframe because he doesn't have Shred or Prime Shred. You don't know where to get Shred? I forgot how to get Shred. I got it from a friend. Was it from, uh, whatchamacallit missions, from Nightmare Missions? It might have been Nightmare Missions. Hey, look on the wiki. See? It works with Shred as well. No need to worry if you don't have the Prime Shred. Look at that. Beautiful. Of course, as before, I can stop at about 50% and watch the slashes deal the damage. The value of the slashes will be dependent on the number of viral procs that you get on your target. Now, enough about this and that, my friends. It's time to talk Riven Mods. Riven Mods. Riven Mods. I got two fantastic Riven Mods for this one. Both are loner from a friend. Uh, I got a Satychron and an Acricron. It sounds a certain way, doesn't it? Now, the Satychron is a loner from Zack. Thank you, Zack. And the Acricron is a loner from Esba. Look at this. Look at these values, man. It's so delish. 
so much delish. Multi shot, crit chance minus zoom, or crit chance, crit damage minus damage to Karpai. We're gonna test out the weapon like so, and of course the uh, Riven took the place of Heavy Calibre from Spain. It's from Spain, and Damage is from France. Yes, basically, I'll do a guide on telling you exactly where's from what. Trust me, you can trust me. <laughs> Level 120 corrupted Heavy Goons as before. <laughs> That's oh, that never gets old. I love that. I love this weapon. Why don't I use this weapon more? Because it's single target? Maybe that's why. Look. Look, I'll stop. I'll stop. No, no slash. I didn't even get a slash there. And it still absolutely murdered the target. Give me slash, please. There you go. Slashes. 3,500... Free... A lot! I think it was over 10,000 total. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Riven Dispo, 5 out of 5, my friends. Remember when we used to have brand weapons that had Riven Dispo 3 out of 5? That's gone now. I know it's for a good reason, but I still feel dead inside every time I see a weapon with Riven Dispo of 1 out of 1. Let's test the Acricon as well. What's the point, Laser? There is no point past this point. You already got all the info you need on the weapon. This is fun. It's for fun. Let me have some fun. Why can I have some fun? Level 100 and... yeah, let's do the 120 so you can have a base for comparison between the two ribbons. Honestly, you can run the math to actually see the difference. Look! It's beautiful. And technically speaking, I'm, I'm not sure these are perfect rolls. I should run the math on that. The, the perfect roll might be something like... Critical chance, critical damage, damage. Or critical chance, critical damage, multi-shot. Of course, negative, harmless negative, and all that. Look at this, look at this. Look at this, it's so beautiful, it's so... How could you not like this weapon? So again, my friends, if you want to invest in a Riven, yeah, this one is Dispo 5 out of 5, at least, at the very least, you know you're gonna be bringing some real power to the weapon, and you get to see big numbers! Everybody loves big numbers, yes, and again, special thanks to my buddies who loan me the Rivens for the test. Mm. But that's not all, is it? Is it, my friends? There's still one more thing that we can do. Bump up everything with Warframe buffs. And for that, we're gonna be using the ever-so-lovely Lady Mirage Prime. And her ever so fantastic buffs, my friends. Now, when it comes to Anora, you can go with Corrosive Projection against Grenier. Yes, this will be the best choice and all whatnot. But you can also go with Rifle Amp if you so desire. 27% extra damage to primary weapons. And you can pump up the level of the damage with Co-Action Drift. From my humble point of view, it's not really worth it, so just go with whatever aura you desire. Energy siphon, growing power, and all what newt. In this case, for the sake of more damage, corrosive projection. Arcane Adventure R5 will be our first arcane. This one is farmed from the third Eidolon down on Cetus or from Scarlet Spear if you manage to get access to the event. On headshot, a 15% chance for a plus 180% damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds. It's a fantastic arcane and I highly recommend you get one. Arcane Avenger R5 will be our second choice. On damage, 21% chance for plus 45% critical chance for 12 seconds. This is a bonus additive after effect. So right now I got about 190% critical chance on my weapon. With 45%, which stacks on top, okay, no matter of the weapon's uh, base critical chance, I'm gonna go to 235% with this one. That means that all my shots will be guaranteed orange and every single damage take on a target will have a 35% chance at being a red crit or a tier 3 crit. If you still don't understand how critical chance and critical damage works in Warframe, link the cards right now. And I do believe that's pretty much it for Warframe buffs. Now, some of you might think that it's a smart idea to go with Lord Harrow. I love Harrow. He's a fantastic frame, but Harrow is to be pulled out and used when a weapon does not have a good base critical chance when you can't really use or it's not worth using critical chance mods on a weapon. Here comes Harrow, gives the weapon critical chance, then you mod it with critical damage and that's how you make a full-blown monster. But not in this case, not when a weapon actually has critical chance. One more thing, of course, you can get a Sentinel. Any Sentinel will do, my friends. And on that Sentinel's weapon, make sure to plug in the Vigilante mods. Offense supplies, fervor, and armaments for a 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. And some believe the following. Listen, because a weapon has, at the very least, 100% crit chance, like in our case this time, that basically means just more crit, right? Well, not exactly, because the mechanic doesn't really work that way. But yes, this is a great buff to have. It's not gonna be life-altering, life-changing, it's not super um, Imba Ultra or anything of the sort, but again, it is worth having if you're going with a critical weapon. Basically, with any weapon, having a bit more chance to crit. Level 150, Corrupted Heavy Goons, we're gonna be unpausing the AI so they can hit me and I can get me buffs. The question is, how many seconds do you think it'll take to kill a level 150 
corrupted heavy goon. Mirage is free ability for a fantastic damaging increase as well as our ever so lovely clones. Now let's take a look. Bzzzt. <laughs> Bzzzt dead. Bzzzt. See, I'm gonna aim above the head and I'm gonna lower the boom. How is that? How is that not a monster, my friends? How are you not playing with this weapon right now? Close the video and make yourself a synapse because it's 150% worth it. This is a true blue monster. And yes, it's true. Right now I'm using Mirage and her impressive buffs. But again, it deals quite a bit of damage even with a standard build. Even without a Riven and all whatnot. And there's plenty of ways to upgrade the weapon considering the high Riven disposition of 5 out of 5. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you got any sorts of feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Also in the comment section down below, if you guys got any particular content suggestions. I would like to see this, or I don't like to see this, and so on and so forth. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. But until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.